All right, you guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this last example here. Um, and in this example, it says Leo had a farm with a certain number of oranges, orange trees. Uh, he had to cut down five trees to control the insects. Uh, each of the remaining trees produced uh, 210 oranges, producing a total harvest of 41,790 oranges. How many trees did Leo's farm have initially? All right, so first off, guys, first off, first thing we want to go ahead and do here is want to go ahead and label our variables. So a few things here. Um, we are given uh, trees. So in this case, I'll have T representing trees. All right, trees. Uh, and this, in this case, guys, is going to be representing our input, which is what we're putting into Um our equation here and then h in this case is going to be representing the harvest because we want to go ahead and see how much is expected from us at the end of the day or how much is expected from these trees so this is the output all right so h is harvest t is trees so it says um they sell or they have uh orange trees it says he had to cut down five trees to control the 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 insect insect pest which means that he's actually losing trees he's losing five of them uh, another thing they're telling us is that each of the trees produces um 210 oranges and they're also telling us that their total harvest was 41,790 um oranges so goal in this case is to actually find how many trees they had in the beginning. That's the goal in this case, all right? So starting off with building our equation, guys, uh, first off, do we know how many trees we started off with? Um, and answer for that, guys, is we don't. That's actually what we want to go ahead and find. So starting off here, I have uh, T. I'm going to go ahead and do it here. T. We don't know how many trees they had initially, so I'll just put T. Uh, we do know, however, that uh, Leo did have to cut down five trees, which means that we actually have to subtract five from whatever trees we had in the beginning. Um, moreover, guys, other information they're giving us here is that each tree actually produces 210 oranges. So I did put this in parentheses because since each tree produces 210 oranges, um, and I don't know how many there are initially, I will be multiplying my trees by 210. Just because in this case that represents the number of oranges each tree uh, produces. And all of this is going to be equal to whatever my harvest is. Now in this case guys, we do know what the harvest is. Harvest in this case is 41,790. So let's go ahead and substitute that. I have 41,790 equal to 210 times T minus 5. All right. So in this case, guys, want to go ahead and solve for T here. Now, two ways we could approach this, guys. I could actually distribute the 210 into the parentheses. Um which would make my life harder. Uh, so easy step first is actually to divide both sides by 210. So I'm going to go ahead and divide this side. <clears throat> divide this here by 210. And this here by 210. So let's go ahead and bring on our calculator here. And I have 41,790 divided by 210 and luckily for us that does divide evenly so that gives us uh, 199 equal to t minus 5 all right goal in this case to solve for t so i'm gonna go ahead and move 5 to the other side by doing the opposite and if i do 199 plus 5 that actually gives me 204 so in this case, guys, uh, the amount of trees we had at the beginning of the harvest were actually 204 trees, counting the ones we cut down. All right. 
So once again, guys, Khan will be asking for two answers. First answer would be for us to write the equation, which is the one that I'll actually highlight in yellow. That's our equation. And then our final answer, answer which is 